this video, we're going to be discussing the differences between injective functions and surjective functions. It can be very easy to confound the two because they sound very similar and they're words that you probably haven't heard in prior math courses. All right, so to illustrate the contrast between injective and surjective functions, consider a more formal definition of each side by side. Take a look. A function is injective provided every element of the codomain is the image of at most one element from the domain, whereas a function is surjective provided every element of the codomain is the image of at least one element from the domain. Okay, notice both properties are determined by what happens to elements of the codomain. Elements of the codomain could be repeated as images or they could be missed, meaning that they're not images. Injective functions do not have repeats in terms of images. They do not have repeat images, but they might or might not miss elements. Surjective functions do not miss elements, but might or might not have repeats. The bijective functions are those that do not have repeats and do not miss elements. I think about a function in this context like a dartboard. And this is a great analogy if you're trying to understand the difference between the two. You can think about a dartboard as the codomain and the darts as the domain. The function maps elements from the domain to the codomain, or in this analogy, the function is represented by throwing darts on a dartboard. So again, we have darts, which are the domain, um, throwing darts represents what the function does to the domain, the elements in the domain, and the dartboard is where the codomain is. You might hit the dartboard in the same spot multiple times, and you might hit the entire dartboard with many, many darts, if you have enough darts. It could be that you didn't hit every spot on the dartboard. That means the range, which represents where the darts hit on the codomain or the range where the darts hit on the dartboard it means that the range is not the entire codomain. The outputs of the function don't hit every possible output on the target area or the codomain in this case. If you hit every position of the dartboard, that is analogous to surjective. If every spot that you hit with a dart has at most one dart in that position, meaning there are no repeat darts in any one position, then that is analogous to injective. And if you hit every spot on the dartboard and you did so exactly once for each spot, that is bijective. That's how I think about it. It's a little um, confusing to understand at, the fir at first, especially because this is functions, which is a very diff challenging concept. And this is completely new terminology that you've probably never heard before because it's not discussed in prior math courses. So I can understand how this can be a little tricky, but again, dartboards work really well. When you throw a dart, um, it's going to land on the codomain and the range represents where the darts hit. And if you hit the whole dartboard with all your darts, you um, it's surjective. And if you hit every spot, not every spot, but if every spot that you hit, you hit only uh, once, there's no repeats anywhere, that's injective. And then if you, if you hit every single spot on the dartboard and you do so exactly once, that's bijective. Anyways, I hope that analogy helps. Um, thanks, everyone, and I'll see you in the next video.